This is working. Yeah, shalom. Women and children. I'd like to say our praises due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Ba'ashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect out there. Um, this is just a short lesson in regards to the Morocco. The earthquake, what, hap what's, what happened in Morocco, right? Which is judgment of the Heavenly Father, right? And uh, those uh, people of Morocco, there are some Israelites. There are Israelites among them, right? Because, um, but... There was also uh, a slave trade, right? Uh, like prior to the whole um, Atlantic slave trade, right? Like there's already uh, a, a slave trade, right? Called the Arab slave trade, right? Of uh, the Jews, right? That was being rounded up. And uh, a lot of our people too were practicing Islam, you know? Um, like uh mali like the um you know like mansa musa he was uh he's practicing Muslim islam right and uh he was one he's the, he's the wealthiest man right and uh pretty much we fell or whatever because uh they're worshiping uh you know the kaaba stone right and basically you bowing down to that stone to that idol is uh it's just idolatry right but this is uh nathaniel nathaniel seven um he goes into a certain history right um he goes into a lot, a lot of the history even though he goes off you know about like he's not going to the mark of the beast because he's bought and paid for right only the lord could um you know have mercy on him Right, even though he he's he's uh he's not pushing the hundred percent truth, but uh, he, you know, he has like a lot of uh, good you know content when he goes into the history and stuff. You know, that's one thing I could say. But I'm um, gonna play this. This is Nathaniel. Teen rig ships, which were methodically packed in sardine-like fashion with men, women, and children, maneuvered skillfully in evading the small force of British sloops. See, they, they had to evade the smaller force of British sloops. The British was going on making sure slavery had ended, okay? Yeah, but a lot of our people, right, because you had like a lot of sultans, um, Pretty much, he was like a portrait. He was, uh, he's a Jake. You could see that they're clearly Negroes, right? The Sultans, right, of the Zanzibar. That pretty much, um, that they were uh, pretty much in league with the Portuguese. Because the Portuguese, they already had the network of the world throughout India, Asia, Japan, China throughout uh east africa the sahara uh west africa south africa and the um and the americas right the portuguese right and the, the spanish right the dutch west indy like the dutch uh uh like the dutch west india company um you know like the dutch brazil right there were jews right so far the jews that set up that whole network, that whole monopoly, right? And uh, the small hats, um, pretty much, they learned a lot of the monopoly from Jake, right? but now they took it over and uh, they mastered it, right? Even though Jake's, they still have Jake behind the scenes, right? Um, but for the most part, the people who's on top is the uh, the small hats right now, All right? Boy, I'm gonna play this. So they would stop the ships on the ocean, but the Arabs had these quick, smaller ships. Go ahead, charged with the impossible. Yeah, because, because we had uh, because we had a trade route, and we had all the the um, the, the shipbuilders, right? Which they're uh, the the Sephardic uh, Jews, the pirates. Right, um, you know, some of them were, uh, act, you know, like practicing Jews, and as well as uh, some of them were practicing Islam, 
right? They're playing both sides, right? Mission of interdicting this illicit traffic, meaning slave trade, right? Yeah, because even um, the Edomites, they went into captivity too. All right, they call the the, the barbarian uh, slave tr slave trade, right? Where uh, the Moors pretty much, uh, you know, under the whole Islam and the Ottoman and the Ottoman Empire, they were uh, trading, right? Uh, uh, you know, men and women, right? And they would, uh, you know, like they would castrate the men, and they would uh, take the woman, right? The blacks caught up in this trade were fated to be sold in the slave marts of Arabia. Wait, 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 wait! It says the blacks caught up in this trade were fated to be sold in the slave marts of Arabia. So we were sold in Arabia too. Go ahead. The Persian Gulf. We were yeah, because even during the whole the fall of the Byzantine Empire, that's when the Ottoman Empire came to power. And um, they pretty much sold Jake into slavery. Uh, Jake was sold into slavery because that because that Byzantine Empire was basically fell. The Ottoman Empire that came, um, you know, which are, uh, you know, these uh, Edomites, you know, and pretty much that they came to power. Then you had... Um, you know the fall of uh, the fall of Granada in Spain, and um, pretty much we lost um, the Jews, or uh, some of them were were uh, practicing Islam. Islam, they fell and they went to Morocco, uh, North North Africa, you know, and so on and so on. They the, the barbarian uh, the whole that barbarian map right of North Africa, the whole Mediterranean, and uh, there was a slave trade, and uh, a lot of uh, the Byzantine they fell, and then yeah the Portuguese, that was in league with the um, the kings of Spain, right yeah uh, and um, Pope. Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome, which was he's an Edomite, then the Borgia family, and uh, basically, that's when um, Esau he got a little strong. He, he 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 like he didn't have the full whole. He didn't have the full earth on lock, but um, you know, cause Jake was still dominating Europe, um, certain parts of Asia. And so on. There's a big uh, uh, network, right? But I'm gonna play this. Sold in the Persian Gulf too. Go ahead. The Ottoman Empire. That's Turkey. Go ahead. And India. And India. So we don't talk about this. Give me the next book. No, I mean next inside. It's the same book. Next page. I mean. Read that these questions were raised and discussed so seriously within the context of the enslavement of blacks leads one to believe that they were the main victims of the widespread practice of enslavement of Muslims. And that's what they did because a lot of the Christians or uh, the Jews that are practicing, they call them crypto Jews. And pretty much they were, some of them, they were, uh, you know, castrated. They had to... Uh, it's like some of them were eunuchs, you know, into these different uh, harems and pretty much uh, like they, uh, you know, they did a lot of torture onto our people, man, you know, and uh, because that's, uh, you know, like this was a punishment from the Heavenly Father because a curse, you know, when you read about Deuteronomy 28, verse 16, 68, you know, and um our people are still worshiping that whole uh, Kaaba stone. They're going every Friday to the mosque, you know, praying five times a day, bowing down to that stone, uh, you know, and uh, that's completely off. But I'm going to play this and I'm going to get some scriptures. Slack here, brothers. Bye, Muslims. Wait, wait, wait. Do y'all see that? The enslavement of Muslims by Muslims. Go ahead. 
it clearly indicates that slavery in Islam, slavery in Islam, listen good, a religion largely free of racism, like Malcolm said, is free of racism, struck harshly and unfairly at people with black skin. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? What's wrong with black folks today? The scholars know what happened. Y'all keep playing games in Islam out there. Give me the ins- next page, please. Many young... When I say catch, they used to cut our rods off to make sure you did not sex their mothers, wives, or daughters. Read that. Many... And that's what they did. They, they would castrate us. They would do all kinds of stuff, man. And, um... It, I, I'm like, they would give us... They would, um... I, I sent a video. If you watch my, uh, my last live about uh, the Arab slave trade... Um, it shows you that, um, you know, basically, uh, that they're still doing it to this day. You know, they have our, our people being trafficked, right? Men and women, right? To this day, right? And that's why that whole earthquake happened, man. Young castrates ser- served as guards, served as guards, messengers, mm-hmm. and not uncommonly as confidants to their owners. Watch this. Many were sent to guard the holy ground of the Kaaba in Mecca. Read. So you, you guys that's going to, who live in Toronto here or um, Chicago, wherever Jake is scattered, that's practicing that whole Islam throughout uh, Canada and America and the world. All right. You're worshiping that damn idol, man. That stone. You shouldn't be like. That's why uh, Job, Jeremiah, I think twenty-eight, verse twenty-eight it says. In the tomb of. It says, uh, saying to a stone that thou hast brought me forth, like to the dumb idol, right? Thou hast brought me forth. Yeah, this a dumb idol. You're not supposed to be bowing down to that, right? And that's why uh, you two thirds, man. Right, that's practicing that Islam, man. It, like most is gonna judge you guys, man. Right, because you're not really, you're not really worshiping the heavenly Father. Right, right. Like we're the sons of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Israel, right? Yasha Allah, he is the prince of the power, man. Right, so you're like you're worshiping a a a slave a slave religion, man. The prophet in Medina. So as slaves, they made us watch the Kaaba stone. We had to guard the Kaaba, and we had to guard the tomb of old demon, the prophet, what he calls self-proclaimed prophet. That's how they used the black slaves. And that's what it was. It's a slave religion that was also set up by our people. All right? That Soga Muhammad, his, his mother was, uh, she's a Jew. I I I I believe uh, his father is a Jew, <laughs> whatever. But um, Khadijah, she was pretty much uh, um, like she was pretty much like a financer of that whole thing because she was uh, she was um, she was like a financer right, to the uh, like to the uh, like to Rome right to the whole uh, Vatican right to try to drive out the um to to try to drive out um you know ishmael right because the you had the crusades right you had the crusade wars right because uh yeah the uh the ishmaelites that was inhabiting the land and this okay give me the inside next page yeah so like that's one thing i could say with that you know so this is morocco Morocco earthquake, uh, earthquake, right? This was a couple, I think that was an hour or so ago. Morocco earthquake uh, lives update more than uh, 2,100 dead in a rare, powerful earthquake, right? So this is the Heavenly Father, man. A rare and powerful 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck Morocco. Uh, late Friday night and killed more than 2,100 people in in the country in the country uh, in the country's uh, strongest quake in more than a century according to the Morocco uh, 
inter interior ministry in the interior ministry right so this is the heavenly father man that brought this right and there's gonna be on earth right because these are these are all signs right? right so um let me get a scripture so not okay. here too much This is a earthquake um, in the in the blue letter Bible, Salakia brothers. Make it load. Earthquake, um, Matthew twenty four verse seven. For for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. You know, so Morocco, it, like they never got a, a a major earthquake over and over a hundred years, man. All right, and it's shaking up, you know, and that's shaking up the Ishmaelites over there, man. All right, because you guys benefited off of our destruction, man. All right, and uh, you know, and uh, basically, uh, that they have our people still in slavery. Our people have to bow down if they don't. Of that they'd be put to death, you know, if uh, if 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 they uh, if they try to say, oh, that they're uh, they're Israelites or whatever, right? And this is that, like this is what's happened. Um, Second Ezra uh, nine verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, so all these are signs to look out for. We're in that time right now. Right, we have earthquakes, you know, like Morocco, right, which is a, a major, major judgment, all right, because you Aaron, man, you guys are profiting off of, off of our destruction, man. You guys have all the uh, all the um all the oil fields, you know, like you have our, our people in, that being trafficked, you know, and they're doing all kind of wickedness onto our people, man, all right. And you Ishmaelites are gonna get judged, man. You know, then shall, then shalt thou, well understand that the Most High, sp uh, spake of these things from the days, that, were before thee, even, from beginning. All right. So this is Ezra's that basically, he had a vision. All right. He time tra he he time traveled. Right. And he basically, uh, he wrote these things down. Right and basically, like we're uh, we're living in these things what the prophets wrote down, you know. So uh, you know all this is judgment, man. All right, all right. So um, yeah. So with that, let us say our praise due to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rakodash. Double honor to the apostles of. A uh, great millstone, peace and blessings to the elect out there. Shalom, all right? Because these, you know, these nations, especially Ishmael, all right, you Ishmaelites have a, a a major role, man, in our destruction, man. All right, and we're gonna get y your hands, on, like we're gonna get our hands on you, man. You know, like when the, like when our father, or like when our, our like our big brother Yahusha is gonna is gonna. Is gonna take the kingdom, man. All right. So with that, let's say our praises due to Yahweh. Bashim, Mashiach, Bashim, Mekakudash. Shalom.